Chapter 4 Concentration and Wisdom Sutra, the master instructed the assembly, Good knowing advisors, this Dharma door of mine has concentration and wisdom as its foundation. Great assembly, do not be confused and say that concentration and wisdom are different. Concentration and wisdom are one substance, not two. Concentration is the substance of wisdom, and wisdom is the function of concentration. Where there is wisdom, concentration is in the wisdom. Where there is concentration, wisdom is in the concentration. If you understand this principle, you understand the balanced study of concentration and wisdom. Students of the way do not say that first there is concentration which produces wisdom or that first there is wisdom which produces concentration. Do not say that the two are different. To hold this view implies a duality of drama. If your speech is good but your mind is not, then concentration and wisdom are useless because they are not equal. If mind and speech are both good, the inner and outer are alike, and concentration and wisdom are equal. Self-enlightenment, cultivation, and practice are not a matter for debate. If you debate which comes first, then you are like a confused man who does not cut off ideas of victory and defeat, but magnifies the notion of self and dramas, and does not dissociate himself from the four marks. Good knowing advisors, what are concentration and wisdom like? They are like a lamp and its light. With the lamp there is light. Without the lamp there is darkness. The lamp is the substance and the light and the of the lamp is the substance of the light and the light is the function of the lamp. Although there are two names, there is one fundamental substance. The drama of concentration and wisdom is also thus. Commentary Concentration comes from holding precepts with concentration. One can bring forth wisdom. Precepts, concentration and wisdom are the three studies which have no outflows. If you wish to obtain concentration, you must begin by holding precepts that is all evil not done, all good respectfully practiced. The sixth patriarch said, Although you are good knowing advisors, don't be a text and say that concentration and wisdom differ. In this sudden teaching, Dharma door of mind, concentration is wisdom, and wisdom is concentration. Although there are two names, there is only one substance. What is the function of concentration? Concentration produces wisdom. When wisdom is produced, concentration is certainly within it. If you understand that concentration and wisdom are one substance with two different functions, then you understand the balanced study of concentration and wisdom. If the speech is good, but the mind is not. If your mind is full of jealousy, obstruction, isolation, conceit, devil views, greed, hatred, and stupidity, concentration and wisdom are useless, they are not present, because they are not equal, but if your mind and speech both are good, then your mouth says what is in your mind, and concentration and wisdom are equal. You should understand and cultivate on your own, do not argue with people in order to show off your cultivation and advertise yourself. To debate whether concentration or wisdom comes first is to be like a confused person who does not cut off ideas of victory and defeat. In debate, thoughts of victory and defeat stand in contradiction to the way, giving rise to the mind of four monks. How can one obtain somebody? A text to the mark of self, others, living beings, and a life. How can you obtain somebody? As soon as you argue, you have no concentration and, consequently, no wisdom. This is extremely stupid. When you argue, you give rise to the attachment to self and dramas and then the four marks arise. With attachment to self comes attachment to others. 
With attachment to others comes attachment to living beings. With attachment to living beings comes attachment to life. The analogy of the lamp and light illustrates the identical substance of concentration and wisdom. As a lamp produces light, so concentration produces wisdom. As light is the function of a lamp, so wisdom is the function of concentration. But despite the discrimination, concentration and wisdom are fundamentally one. Sutra, the master instructed the assembly. Good knowing advisors, the single conduct samadhi, is the constant practice of maintaining a direct, straightforward mind in all places, whether one is walking, standing, sitting, or lying down. As the Vima Lakati Sutra says, the straight mind is the Bodhi Mandala. The straight mind is the pure land. Do not speak of straightness with the mouth only. While the mind and practice are crooked, nor speak of the single conduct samadhi without maintaining a straight mind. Simply practice keeping a straight mind and have no attachment to any drama. The confused person is attached to the marks of dramas, while holding to the single conduct samadhi and saying, "I sit unmoving and falseness." Does not arise in my mind. That is the single conduct samadhi. Such an interpretation serves to make him insensate and obstructs the causes and conditions for attaining the way. Good knowing advisers, the way must penetrate and flow. It how can it be impeded? If the mind does not dwell in dramas, the way will penetrate and flow. The mind that dwells in dramas is in self bondage. To say that sitting and moving is correct is to be like Shariputra, who sat quietly in the forest but was scolded by Vimalakati. Commentary: You should not speak of directness. And act dishonestly. If you greet rich people with smiles and compliments, saying "Welcome, welcome," when in fact it is not the person you welcome, but their money and power instead, that is flattery. If you speak about the single conduct samadhi, but you act improperly, such a hypocrisy betrays a cooked mind. But if you practice keeping a direct mind, then your mind is the body mandala. You should manage all your affairs with a direct mind and have no attachments. A stupid person gives rise to a drama attachment. I sit here unmoving and I have no false thinking. This is the single conduct samadhi. He is completely wrong. One who thinks this way turns into a vegetable. The way should flow without obstruction. If you stop your thought, you turn into dead ashes and rotten, rotten wood, and become useless. You should produce that thought which is nowhere supported by attaching yourself neither to emptiness, to existence, nor to dramas. Attachment to dramas results in attachment to existence. And attachment to existence results in perishing in emptiness. But when you are unsupported, the way will circulate freely. The mind that dwells in dramas is in self bondage. If you get attached to the meditation drama and sit without moving, you tie yourself up and become a prisoner. Shariputra, the foremost of Shakyamuni Buddha's disciples in wisdom, sat in the forest quietly meditating. But the layman Vima Lakati reprimanded him, saying, "What are you doing? What use are you sitting there like a corpse?" Sutra, good knowing advisers, there are those who teach people to see, to see, looking at the mind. And contemplating stillness without moving or arising, they claim that it has married confused men, not understanding, easily become a test and go insane. There are many such people. Therefore, you should know that teaching of this kind is a great error. 
commentary, the deluded person does not understand the principle. They think, I'm just sit here and not get up. This is the way to attain skill in Chen. They get attached to what they are doing and they go insane. For example, many people have come here saying that they are enlightened. That is insanity. There are many such people, teachers from their number, say, if you certify my enlightenment, I will certify yours. That is a big mistake. In China, in the Tang Dynasty, there were false Buddhist patriarchs who practiced intellectual Zen. They had clever answers but no foundation in actual cultivation. It is not surprising that we find such people in America today, but these impostors who falsely claim to be enlightened pave the way for those of true enlightenment. No one knew about enlightenment, so the impostors said, we are enlightened. Everyone then said, so this is enlightenment, and they examined them closely to see what enlightenment is like. Suddenly, a truly enlightened person comes and no one believes in him. They think that the truly enlightened one is the same as the impostors. You who now cultivate to become enlightened, to be forced to deal with the widespread influence of such pretenders. That leads me to advise you that when you become enlightened, you should not say that you are. That is the best method. This is the way of the world, true, true, false, 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 true. If you are true, they say you are false. If you are false, they say you are true. Therefore, you should not speak of true and false. Tell people to go and see for themselves. Unenlightened people will say that they are enlightened. If you who have already become enlightened claim to be enlightened, then you are just like those who are not. Why? People who actually are enlightened do not introduce themselves saying, Do you know me? I am enlightened. I am the same as so and so, and he is enlightened. He is enlightened, and I am just like him. Enlightenment and non-enlightenment are the same, not different. Do not hang out a false name. Enlightened, you are a human being. Unenlightened, you are still a human being. The enlightened and the unenlightened both can realize Buddhahood is a question of time. Do not advertise yourself. If no one knows you, that is the very best. And your straight mind is the Bodhi Mandala. Sutra, the master instructed the assembly. Good knowing advisors, the right teaching is basically without a division into sudden and gradual. Beautiful natures themselves are sharp and dull. When the confused pupil who gradually cultivates and the enlightened person who suddenly connects each recognize the original mind and see the original nature, they are no different. Therefore, the terms sudden and gradual are shown to be false names. Good knowing advisors, this drama draw of mind from the past onwards has been established from the first with no thought as its doctrine, no mark as its substance, and no dwelling as its basis. No mark means to be apart from marks, while in the midst of marks, no thought means to be without thought, while in the midst of thought. No dwelling is the basic nature of human beings. In the world of good and evil, attractiveness and ugliness, friendliness and hostility when faced with language which is offensive, critical, or argumentative. You should treat it all as empty and have no thought of revenge. In every thought, do not think of former states if past, present, and future thoughts succeed one another without interruption. It is bondage. Not to dwell in dramas from thought to thought is to be free from bondage, that is to take no dwelling as the basis. Good knowing advisors to be separate from all outward marks is called no mark. The ability to be separate from marks is the purity of 
the drama substance. It is to take no mark as the substance. Good knowing advisors, the non-defilement of the mind in all states is called no thought. In your thought, you should always be separate from states. Do not give rise to thought about them. Commentary. Basically, real Buddhism has no sudden or gradual drama. Stupid pupil cultivate it bit by bit, whereas enlightened pupil immediately cut off false thinking, bad habits, and involvement with external objects and so understand the mind and see their own nature. From the time of Shakyamuni Buddha right up until the present, the sudden teaching Dharma Door, which the sixth patriarch transmitted, established no thought, no mark, no dwelling as its doctrine, its substance, and its basis. Thoughts of the past, present, and future are continuous like waves on water. To be attached to such thoughts is to tie yourself up, to lock yourself up, so that you cannot be free. You should not be attached to any dramas in your own clear, pure thoughts. Keep constantly separate from states and do not think about the external environment. Sutra, if you merely do not think of the hundred things and so completely rid yourself of thought, then as the last thought ceases, you die and undergo rebirth in another place. That is a great mistake of which students of the way should take heed. Commentary Why you should not produce thoughts with regard to external states? That does not mean that you should completely rid yourself of thought. Attached to marks, whatever you do is wrong, but in non activity, you fall into emptiness. What should I do? you ask. It is just at this point that the greatest difficulty arises. But if you handle it, just that, that is no thought. If you want to have no thought and die, that is to have no thought that if you die here, you will be reborn somewhere else. That is really wrong. If you want to cultivate the way, you should pay special attention and take heed. So try to misinterpret the drama and make a mistake yourself might be acceptable, but to exhort others to do the same is unacceptable. In your own confusion, you do not see, and moreover, you slander the Buddha Sutras. Therefore, no thought is established as the doctrine. Good knowing advisors, why is no thought established as the doctrine? Because they are confused people who speak of seeing their own nature, and yet they produce thought with regard to states. Their thoughts cause different views to arise, and from that all defilement and false thinking are created. Originally, not one single drama can be obtained in the self-nature. If there is something to attain to all false talk of misfortune and blessing, that is just defilement and different views. Therefore, this drama door establishes no thought as its doctrine. Commentary You may be stupid yourself and not understand your mind and nature. What is more, you may slander the Buddha Sutras and say that they are incorrect. For that reason, no thought is set up as the doctrine. Some people say that they have the nature, they say they are enlightened, but they have all kinds of thoughts about externals, different views, and defilements. But your own clear, pure origin, the wondrous, bright enlightenment, nature has not one single drama within it. It is the clear, pure thought, the wondrous, bright, true nature. Originally, there is not one single thing. Some people speak of misfortune and blessing, saying tomorrow you are going to die unless, of course, you buy great Mary today and giving me a million dollars. Hearing such talk, the big victim immediately buys some merit, and naturally, he does not die. He claims that the prediction was certainly efficacious, but does not mention the fact that he was treated out of a million dollars. Or someone says, 
you have great blessings but you are off but just a little bit if you create a million dollars worth of merit next term you can be president the presidencies the presidency is certainly cheap if i buy it for a million i still have a several billion left says the victim and he buys the presidency that is false talk of misfortune and blessings it is defilement and deviant views i will speak to you more about no thought no mark and no dwelling without a mark where do you dwell without thought what mark do you have isn't that right no thought no mark and no dwelling no thought is no production no mark is no extinction and no dwelling is the fundamental absence of production and extinction of right and wrong no thought no mark and no dwelling are the same as no right and no wrong no good and no evil no male and no female without devon thought how could there be male and female this is truly marvelous if you master this drama there is no mark without the mark of self who has sexual desire sexual desire is just a thought without thought there is no sexual desire and no mark of a self and no attachment is this anything but true freedom and true liberation no thought no mark and no dwelling no movement no stillness no right no wrong no male no female no good no evil this is extremely miraculous you need only use no thought no mark and no dwelling without a body where do you dwell right this is wonderful you should investigate it in detail